Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth video of the PySimple GUI tutorial series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to update windows after a user event. So right now I've created a simple layout. So to save time, if I run the code right now, we get a file viewer layout. So on the left side, we have to select a folder and then I click OK and all the files in the folder will be listed over here. And if I click on a folder, the contents will be displayed over here and the file path will be shown in the file name here. So the left side is the file list column. So the top is the folder, which is where we select the folder. And then the list box is the list of files that we can select from. In the file viewer column on the right side, we will have the file name where we will display the path of the file and multi-line will, but the multi-line widget will show the contents of the file. And then we will the final layout will be two columns separated by a V separator or vertical separator. I'll put the code for the layout in the description below. As you can see, I've created a window and we'll start with the event loop over here. In this application, we need to take two events into account. The first event is selecting the folder and the second event is selecting the file. So first is going to be the folder. So event equals to folder. So the folder key, this is a key, so I can reference to this uh, widget over here, right? This is going to take the folder file path into account. So if the event is folder, we will take the folder location, which is going to be values folder. So this is going to be our folder location. Next, we need to list out the items in the folder locations so we need to import the OS module so try OS list directory folder location and again you need to make sure it's file names and if anything goes wrong we'll just do an accept file names empty list right then afterwards we need to filter out certain things so for example we need to first check if the item in the list directory is a file and after that we need to make sure that the extension of the file is a text file, a CSV file, a JSON or a .python file, right? So just make sure we just want to take a few file types into account and let me just fix some file naming, the variable names. All right, so afterwards what we'll do is this is the important part, this is where we'll update the window. So window and we need to update the list box. The list box is where we have the list of files so, and the key is file list. So let me just select everything here. Then we will update with the file names. Okay, so now what should happen is when we select the folder, we should also get the file name. So if I run the program and click browse and let's say I click the current direct select the current directory click ok and you can see I get a bunch of files right these are the files in my directory if I show you my file explorer in VS code you can see these are the Python files so again this is able to select the Python files in the directory and we should be able to now select the file so this is what we'll be doing the next step which is to create the second event when we click up on a file, we should be able to see its contents on the right side. So let's start working on that. So the event will be called file list over here because that's what we have named the list box. That's the key of the list box. So elif event equals to file list. And then we'll create a new variable called file selection. And we'll call it, so we have to create get the value, right? So values and let's see what file selection is. So if I call browse and then you can see it's a list of just one element. So we need to make sure we take index zero and then with open. So we need to do some file IO here with open. And what you need to do is we need to take OS path join folder selection, which is the name of our folder over here. So folder selection and our file selection and the OS path join will just join it together using the correct whether it's backslash or forward slash in Windows and other operating systems so 
as file lines or let's call the variable contents file read okay so now we'll update so again we're talking about how to update elements in windows so the we'll be updating two things so the first thing we'll be updating is the text widget over here so this will contain the file path which is the location of our file so window update and we'll just copy this here okay window so the second thing we'll be updating is the contents of the multi-line over here so this is the key so dash dash key dash dash text and there we go update and this is just the contents right okay so if i run it now let's select the current directory select the python file and here this is the code for our first python tutorial again if i type in something like hello it won't actually save the changes we haven't implemented that yet uh, but you can see that this is the path of the folder of the file sorry and this is the contents of our file and again you can select so we have made our own text file like file viewer so there is still one problem with the code if i run it right now and if i select just the empty list box we'll get an error which is that the list index is out of range for this that means it's just that we our list for the this box is there are no elements in it that's why it's empty so when we're trying to select an element it tries to get the first element which is not it doesn't exist so we need to create another condition over here and the length of values so this list over here remember that this is a list with only one element so we need to make sure that the length of this is greater than zero right so if i run it again clicking randomly over here doesn't do anything so again let's just make sure it's working and yeah it's working so it's just code again you can implement your own save button so you can do this by creating another event over here having a save button and then it'll write the changes to the file um, but yeah that's it that's how you use the window update tool this is how you update elements in by simple GUI and yeah so I hope this tutorial was fun again I'll put the code the final code in the description below so you can follow through uh, and yeah that's it for this video if like if you like this video then please do consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video